Who won? Dimitri Bivol versus Arthur Bernadette. Let's talk about it. So I know the whole setup is different, you know. I have family who came over for the hurricane, so, you know, I have to change my whole setup. So right now I'm, I'm in a whole different place. Not different place, but same house, but different. Room. Yeah, it's how it is. We got a hurricane coming. This fight is just a couple days away. One of the biggest fights this year. I won't say all time because that's kind of pushing it. But one of the biggest fights this year. We have someone who's 20 and 0, 20 knockouts by the name of Arthur Burgerby. On the other hand, we have a fighter who's 23 and 0, with 12 knockouts in Dimitri Bivol. Now, both of these guys are crazy fighters, bro. This is literally a flip of a coin, kinda. And when I say kinda, I mean kinda because, you know, anything can happen. You know, one punch is all it takes. One punch is all it takes. So when you have power like Birdie Beef does, bro, anything could happen, bro. It's not just who's a better skill, better boxer, you know, it's it's not, you know, all it takes is one punch. Light out. In my opinion, I just think just this this matchup is like I just feel like Beavo just you know has the whole entire advantage. I feel like Beavo's just more on what's the word? He's just more He's more loose, like he's more, he, and he's smart. Bebo is one of the smartest fighters in the game right now. So both fighters are orthodox style, like this. I think the winner is clear, but it's not clear. You know what I'm saying? I think Dimitri Bebo just outstrikes Arthur Berdeviv with these. If you see his fight with Canelo, like he is the most aggressive slash non-aggressive fighter. I, I love the way he fights it, bro. Like he, he goes in, backs up. Goes in, backs up. He's so aggressive, but he's not aggressive, if that makes sense. Like, he he, like he has a similar fighting style of David Benavides, but just less aggressive and more smarter, you know what I'm saying? Like, Benavides just walks up to you and just keeps walking you down, doom, 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 covers up. But he, like, like Bebo, Bebo goes towards you, hits you with a doom, 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 backs up. And doom, 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 back up, you know what I'm saying? And of course, he when, the, when his opponent does go forward, he, he counter, he, he, he moves this way, or he moves that way with his, with his lead hand. And that's one thing too, his distance. Whenever you see him fight, he's always gonna have his hand out like this just to, to measure his to measure his um his distance. His distance is one of the most beautiful I've ever seen, bro. He's always hitting them without getting caught. On the other hand, don't get me wrong, Bertaviv is a good fighter too. His lead jab is crazy. He just right here leads and then throw a right hand right after his uh his feint, feint or left hand to the right, bro. He's He's good, bro. He's, he's really good, bro. I just think, you know, like, stylistically, B was just, you know, it's just a better better guy. It's like, um, it's kind of like how Fury versus Wilder came out. You know, we all seen Wilder, you know, just overhand, overhand, or power punch, power punch. Like, your power can only take you so far. When you're versus someone who's really skilled, like Tyson Fury, who just can just outbox you, same with Dimitri B. Wall. Like, B. Wall is just like that, too. Like, against Canelo Alvarez, you just scold him. Like, the easiest fight ever. He didn't get touched. And if he did, he ate that. Bebo is truly a one of a kind of boxer. Hey, and uh, well, I'm not glazing. I'm not glazing. I promise I'm not glazing. If Burnaby does win, I won't be surprised at him. You know, by knockout. But by decision, <clears throat> no way. And we've seen both fighters get a little frustrated, you know, where there's times where they're kind of losing, you know, and give them a run, run for their money. Uh, I don't remember what fight it was, but it was a fight. Bebo fought, it was like a black guy. Yeah, I'm not racist. He was black. He was fighting a black guy, and bro, I think he almost, he got days before the round ended. Like, it's not looking good for Bivol, but of course, Bivol came back and you know handled business. Same with Birdie B. B. has a whole head gushing blood. He was winning, but he was getting touched up too, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we've seen both fighters in trouble. You know, it's not like we haven't seen one fighter who's not in trouble. It was just clear day winning, winning, winning. But at the end of the day, you know, like 90% of of fights when it's like aggressive, like the Mexican style, just running, running, running. Versus a stick and move aggressive type of guy. Most of the time, it goes to the stick and move aggressive guy. You know, it's not really the, the Mexican style where you just forward, forward, forward. Which I love that style. You know, I am Mexican, as you can see. Like that's literally my type of style. The way I like to fight, but it's like it can only take you so far. Which it could take you far. It could take you far, but only so far. When you're versus someone like the Mayweather, the Dimitri Bivol, Muhammad Ali, Prince Nameh, which he did get knocked out by a Mexican, but we'll say that for another time. But I cannot wait for this fight, man. It's in a couple of days. October 12th, Saturday. Do not miss it. So with all that being said, my winner is Dimitri Bivol. I think he outboxes Arthur Birdie for 12 rounds. He could potentially go for a knockout or a TKO. You know, like bust his whole face and make him throw a towel in. But who knows? Dimitri Birdie is, is the guy who's going to win. I promise he's going to win. But if Birdie does win, like I said, I won't be surprised. I will not be surprised. He's a monster, but you guys gotta got think about his age too. He's 39, almost about to be 40, bro. Dimitri Bivol is 33, which is not young, but it's not old either, you know? He's just right in his prime. Like, that's his perfect age. So, I think age is gonna play a huge factor in this. 39 is kind of old for boxing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but I would like the video, man. Please leave it a thumbs up and a like. Pray for me for this hurricane, because the hurricane's coming strong. 
really strong so and i put all my shadows up and everything so we should be good but hey you never know i want to have another video soon by tomorrow or two days so hopefully that comes out soon but if not hey it is what it is i love y'all boys man y'all boys take care bro and we out peace yeah, i'm not racist he was black